Good day everyone, I'm Dabulola Enyobong. I bring you greetings from the entire management and staff of Main Sequence 2. Because of the pandemic, please let's ensure we take uh, safety measures. Let's ensure we wash our hands. Let's ensure we wash our hands. After washing your hands, you make use of sanitizer, you sanitize your hands also. Then also let's maintain social distance when you are talking to people. And when you are going out, make use of your nose marks. So stay safe. Thank you. Good day, everyone. You are welcome to this mathematics online class. And our previous uh, topic, we look at different sizes of different shapes. Now today we are going into geometry, aspect of mathematics, and what is geometry. Before then, let's do, quickly look at our outline. The le 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 lesson uh, outline. At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to define what the geometry is all about. We should be able to mention the types of geometry, the type of shapes, rather, and you should be able to explain what a plane shape is all about and give some of the examples of the plane shapes and identify different kinds of shapes. Now, let's start. What is a geometry? A geometry is a branch of mathematics that deals with shapes, lines, angles, and even their properties. Now, types of shapes. First, we have a plane shape. A plane shape or two-dimensional shapes. What are plane shapes? Two, we have a solid shape. Solid shapes or three-dimensional shapes. Now let's go to a plane shapes. A plane shape is a shape with flat surface. Any shape at all, you can actually have a flat surface, is what is referred to as a plane shape. And examples are, we have a triangle. This is a triangle. A triangle with three sides. Any shape with three sides is called a triangle. That is the first example of a plane shape. Secondly, we have a quadrilateral shape. What are quadrilateral shapes? They are shapes with four sides. Any shape with four sides is called a quadrilateral. Thirdly, we have a polygon. Lastly, we have circle. This is a circle, round in shape. Now, let's move further. Let's talk on triangles. What are triangles? Triangles are shapes with three sides and three angles. And we have different forms of triangles. Firstly, we have the first triangle name, equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangle. Why is it called an equilateral triangle? Firstly, because the three sides are equal and the three angles as well equal. And each angle of any quadrilateral shape is 60 degree. Let's move to the second one, which is isosceles triangles. Isosceles triangle. It is an isosceles triangle just because only two of its sides that are equal. And likewise, the base angle, the base angle of an isosceles triangle are equal. I mean the bottom angle. They are equal. Thirdly, we have a scaling triangle. A scaling triangle has none of its sides equal. As you can see, this line is not equal to this side. At the same time, it's not equal to this side. Likewise, the angles are not equal as well. Then, fourth, we have a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle have one of its angles to be 90 degree. Okay? Let's move to the next one. Now, examples of plane shape, quadrilateral. A quadrilaterals are shapes with four sides, as I've said earlier. They are the four sided polygons. Examples are a square. A square is an example of a quadrilateral. Then a square is having two pairs of parallel sides. These are the 
the parallel side. This line is parallel to this side. And this is another parallel side of the square. Likewise, it's having each angle is a right angle triangle. This is the first right angle triangle. This is another right angle triangle. This is another right angle triangle. This is another right angle triangle. Now let's move to a rectangle. A rectangle as well is a quadrilateral shape. It can see that it's having four sides, but two opposite sides are equal. This side is equal to this side. At the same time, it's parallel. Likewise, this is equal to this. At the same time, they are parallel. So rectangle also have two pairs of parallel sides. At the same time, it's having each of its angles to be 90 degrees, a right angle triangle. Now, let's move to the next one, parallelogram. A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides as well, but the angles are not equal. But the adjacent angles are equal. Like these angles and these angles, they are equal. And the angles here and these angles are at the same time equal. Now, fourthly, we have a trapezium. A trapezium is having only a pair of parallel sides. That means, and the parallel sides are not equal. The pairs of the parallel side, the pairs of the parallel side are these. This side is parallel to this side. As you can see, the length here is not equal to this. Or like the square, rectangle, that the parallel side at the same time equal. Or in the case of trapezium, the appearance of the parallel side is not equal. Now let's move to the next one, a rhombus. A rhombus. A rhombus sound and looks like a square because it has all its four sides equal. The four sides are equal, likewise it's having four angles. Then the next one is kite. The next one is kite, as you can see from the board. There's difference between a rhombus and a kite. A rhombus is having all its four sides equal, while the kite is having only the two adjacent sides that are equal. This is adjacent to the Line. And this side is equal to this side. And the next adjacent side, which is this, they are equal to each other. Now, let's quickly summarize what we have there. I said earlier, the geometry is the branch of mathematics that deals with shapes, lines, angles, and their properties. Then the types of shapes, we have two main types of shapes. One, plane shapes or two-dimensional shapes. Two, solid shapes or three-dimensional shapes. Plane shapes are shapes with flat surface. And we have examples. The first example is triangles. The second is quadrilateral. We have the third polygons. And lastly, second is also the plane shapes. Then, as you can see from the board, ideally you should be able to identify the name given to various triangles. When you see your equilateral triangle, you should be able to differentiate between an equilateral triangle and isosceles triangles. Likewise, the scaling and the right angle triangle. Don't forget, any shape with four sides are referred to as a quadrilateral shapes. Yes, as you can see on the board, some of the examples, the square, the rectangle, the parallelogram, be able to explain what a quadrilateral shapes are. Then you should be able to state the examples of the quadrilateral shapes. That is the square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezium, rhombus, and kites. Now, I have a class exercise for you to be submitted the next day. First one, what are quadrilateral shapes? Two, state two 
similarity between a rectangle and a parallelogram. Lastly, in your own words, divine the geometry and give three examples of a plane shape. Thank you very much for me.